locals like to call it Frisco or San Fran. So today we're going to show you all the places that we ate and what we got there and uh, if we liked it or not. So we're going to take you into the city today to get some grub. Let's go. Just kidding guys, don't ever call it San Fran or Frisco. Also, side note, don't ever get a hotel on Market Street. Not a good place. <laughs> Okay, so the first place we went was in Chinatown. It was this place called Eastern Bakery. It was really cute and tiny. It had really colorful banners on the outside, so we stopped. We were watching YouTube videos before we went on our trip um, to see some good places to eat. And we found this place and we heard that they had good pork buns and that's what we got. It was really good. Um, it was nice and soft on the outside, and I've never had baked ones. I usually have steamed, so it's different, and it just tasted really good. We also got boba uh, at a place nearby, but I didn't film the outside, but the boba was also really good. So the next place that we went was called Ramen Underground, and it was definitely the best place that we found. They had a bar area where you could just sit down and watch them make the ramen fresh. They had a lot of different options like soy sauce broth or chicken broth or beef broth. I got the soy broth with chicken and spinach, but I got the hot version. That was also another thing that I liked about it was that you could choose between really hot or really mild. Um, I personally like it really hot, so I liked that. I just loved all the options and that it tasted so homemade. I would definitely recommend this place if you live near San Francisco. Okay, so another good place that we went to was called Mr. Holmes Big House. We saw this one on a YouTube video before we went on our trip, so we knew we wanted to go here. Um, we went once in the morning and then once after dinner. We went twice because it was so good. Um, in the morning we got croissants and they had muffins as well and like um, zucchini bread, all of that. Um, and then at night we got these things called cruffins. That's what they're known for. It's a croissant on the outside and it has like an icing filling in the middle. Super good. Um, they have different flavors every day so you can go on their website and look and see what flavor they're gonna have for that day. When we went the flavor was maple and that one was pretty good but I personally wanted to try the horchata one but we weren't there on that day so we didn't get to try but everything they had was so good and it was reasonably be priced but um, there's also one in LA that we didn't know about we just saw the one in San Francisco okay so another place we went for lunch um, we went to the pier one day and we went to Boudin Bakery and Cafe they're known for their breads um, they make really good sourdough bread um, I got a bread bowl with chili inside and it was super good the bread bowl just throws it over the top it had meat beans and like a tomato sort of sauce but the bread was so good um my brother and my sister got clam chowder in the bread bowl the last place we went to was called veganburg everything is vegan so i'm not vegan but it was pretty cool because all their desserts were dairy free um so we got they're actually really good they tasted pretty normal to me um, but I haven't had real cheesecake in a long time, so I wouldn't really be the one to judge. Okay guys, so that concludes our San Francisco food diary. I hope you guys liked it. I know that I pretty much recommended every place that we went to, but it was genuinely all good. I don't have anything bad to say about it. But let us know if you end up going to any of these places. If you take a, San if you take a trip to San Francisco, we really want to know if you guys like it liked it as much as we do. We definitely recommend the ramen place the most. It was just so good and no nothing like we have here in LA. Also, if you haven't checked out the San Francisco RT video that I made, it's, it was posted a few months ago. Check that out. There's more cin cinematic shots in that one. Also, I have um, some photos that I took while on the trip on the website. But if you like this channel, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.